Uh, all right, well, continuing down our, our uh, nostalgic path this week, two new Sonic the Hedgehog games were announced over the weekend at Comic-Con. First up is Sonic Mania, a new 2D platform. Far more interesting to me. Uh, the, the broody, grim, dark, save the world other one. Like, it's, it reeks of werehog, yeah. and I'm not, I'm not I mean, the it. trailer looked great. Like, it yeah. felt like the uh, music Sonic Mania, was I thought to myself, we might finally have the, a second good Sonic game. Yeah, so there was, was a good... Was there a first? Well, yeah, was there a first? <laughs> Sonic CD. Like Sonic CD. It's also, uh, uh, Sonic Generations, which was uh, predominantly 2D, um, had some 3D stuff in it, but like, I, I think we're... Okay. I think we're at the Real point talk. where we need to admit that this was never really a great franchise. Nope. And that we, they, we keep trying and trying and trying to find this thing that was never really actually no, there. Sonic was never good. Yeah, it's it was a 25 like, year lie. Yes. I don't know. I like, don't really understand why. But there is a segment of the gaming uh, community that really, really loves Sonic. Sonic yes. was never good. If you disagree, you can call the cops. Also, yeah. the reason is they all want to have sex <laughs> with Big the Cat. That's true. <laughs> that is still the reason. No, look, I, I said think, it an hour ago. I'll say it again. I think when you're Once a kid, you get to, uh, I, I believe the drowning it's, music. That I, even like Casino Zone, which is like a cool idea for a level, is mostly just like terrible pinball. Well, tedium. that's what Casino Zone is like Vegas, where it's like a cool idea in theory for a <laughs> yeah. place, and then you get there, and after an hour, you're like, what the hell am I doing? Let me leave. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And you're trapped. Yeah. You so I have smoke, and you don't know where outside. Is. I, I feel bad for Sega because Sonic is their is their number one friend is their biggest franchise ever, and they've been chasing this ghost for decades now. And well, yeah, it is fascinating. Uh, I've talked about this. Yeah. But I, I don't understand. What it is yeah, possible. I think the difference was within five or six years of, of the of the release of, of those games. And Sonic One mm -hmm. is a non issue. It's just it's a terrible game. Sonic Two, I think, is yeah. and Sonic Knuckles have redeem, redeemable aspects. The, the, other, no. the other one, uh, the other new Sonic game is uh, some, something new, 3D, coming holiday 2017. Yes. Two PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo NX. Yeah, it's, it's funny too. Like a, a CG trailer, and it has new, new Attitude Sonic that has sex with the cat, and then has old, two of them. Yeah, and then has old, like chubby '90s Sonic mm -hmm. running alongside of them. They're yeah. both trying to go probably Fast. go on a date with a human or something. Yeah, something I don't know. weird. Something. It's all. It's all sexual. <laughs> okay. After watching this, I have a few things to say. You consider Sonic the Hedgehog to be a bad franchise, but let's repeat what you just said. This would probably be the second best Sonic game. After everyone questioned you, you said Sonic CD. Later you said Sonic was never good. So basically you're just being a hypocrite now. Yet you ask yourself, why is there a part of a gaming community that really loves Sonic the Hedgehog? The answer is simple. Why would you play as a plumber getting high on shrooms when you can be moving at the speed of sound, smashing bots? I see way more people enjoying the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise than sitting back and watching these videos about you guys just bashing on video games and rating them and stuff. Honestly, who would want to watch someone who bashed a franchise which helped gaming? Now you bring this sentence into this. They all want to have sex with Big the Cat. Okay, let's think for a minute. A franchise that's actually helped people through depressions, injuries, helping people make new friends, meeting people, making life exciting for people, and so on. You say they all want to have sex with Big the Cat too? So basically judging a buck by its cover. You sound like a complete up and down jerk hole for that one. If Sonic the Hedgehog is a bad franchise, then why did you admit that Sonic the Hedgehog was Sega's biggest franchise? Okay. You may say the stages were boring, that's what you think, but there are even more than a million Sonic fans out there dedicated to the franchise that love the iconic stages like Green Hill Zone, Emerald Hill Zone, Chemical Plant Zone, Angel Island, and so much more. There are so many dedicated Sonic fans out there. Some are probably your fans. So do you consider your fans people who want to have sex with a video game character that's a cat or just having sex with a video game character in general? People love Sonic and people love Mario. Why is the question do they love these classic video game icons? Sonic may have its ups and downs with the franchise, but hey, every video game character has their ups and downs in their series. When you began to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog Project 2017, when you started to talk about classic and modern Sonic, you said they're probably gonna go date a human or something. They tried the idea once and got hate for it. They were testing it out. It wasn't nothing big. They're not gonna do it again. That's understandable. No one likes Sonic being with the human. Even if the fans like 06, they still say it's cringeworthy. But still, Sonic 06 was still a good game. There's nothing sexual about this franchise. 
Amy Rose, a character who wants to be with the hero, isn't even sexual. People love the Sonic the Hedgehog characters, the music, the stages, most of the entire gaming community can say they know who Sonic the Hedgehog is, because it was one of the gaming legends, it still is. This is proof that IGN really dislikes the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. IGN is now disliked by many of their fans because they basically admitted in this video that they hate the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. This explains why they cannot give Sonic the Hedgehog games the credit it deserves. You may say 25 years of lies, but to be honest, this series has been in the gaming community longer and it's more popular than your guys' videos and everything. The series is still speeding strong. Excuse me, I'm gonna go play Sonic Unleashed. I'd like to take the time and show you some of the reasons why the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise is an amazing series. And these are comments from the fans and 